Hey, Cheryl Lazar coming to you from VidCon with the one and only Hank Green behind the Vlog Brothers and of course behind VidCon. Yeah. That's a big title to have. Yeah, principal organizer is what I put on my, my email footer. <laughs> principal organizer of VidCon. That's a long title. She's just a founder, creator. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Well, I have like six other titles. It goes on for it's like a paragraph long. I do. I, I have too many ideas. You're an idea man. So what brought this all together? What was the inspiration? Uh, John and I have been on, in online video for about three and a half years and we've just been doing it for a long time. I have been in a lot of different industries in my life and so I've been to a lot of industry conferences and I was really surprised that no one had put one together for independent online video. Mm -hmm. And I felt like we would all benefit from it a lot. I felt like the community would benefit from like getting together and kind of have a, having a party. And I also felt like we should be talking about this because it's kind of a big deal. Yeah, well, I think so much has evolved in just the five years YouTube has been around and even this past year. Yeah, yeah. I mean, actually, when we, when we, when we said, we want to do this, let's do it, it was six months ago, and we were like, well, we should plan for it to be like 50% bigger than it already is because it grows that fast. Only six months it took to put this all together? Yeah, we definitely were on a pretty tight schedule as far as conference planning goes. However, it was the most planning and the, the farthest ahead we had ever looked for any project by a long <laughs> shot. Usually it's like next week, I, we have to do that video, you know? Yeah, it's kind of it's like, hey, I have this idea. Uh, I just bought the domain name. I just did the design and I'm done. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So what, you know, went into the, in terms of the schedule and who you brought in, Describe, you know, some of the, what you decided on. Well, John and I are pretty active in the online video community, so we've yeah. done some organizing to get people together to promote mm -hmm. charities before. And so we had a lot of friends, and so we kind of just sent out a bunch of emails, and we were like, do you want to do a thing and get together yeah. and have a really, really big conference? And the, the, everyone said yes, except for the people who were like, I wish I could be there, but I have a wedding that weekend or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So everyone wanted to do it. So as soon, we filled up the, like, we pretty much filled up the speaker slots on the main stage in like six hours. No way. And then we had to cut people so that we could put cooler stuff in when like, we were like, you know, there's maybe a little bit too much talking. We can put in a sword swallowing act here mm -hmm. and we can put in uh, some musicians here and like have it be a little bit more lively and, and sort of like mix together talking about how interesting and cool and like how people have have sort of created their thing in online video, but also have a lot of fun stuff happen too. And you also have this insider track thing going on. Yeah, well, I mean, it's, it's pretty obvious that a, a lot of people are I actually think it's really cool in online video how people are creators and they're consumers mm -hmm. and they're, the line is really blurry. And so, you know, you look around and, and, and I see people who are at the conference pretty much as a community member, but I've watched their videos. You know, they make videos and they're good videos and I like the stuff they're doing. So there's a, there's a blurry line there. Um, and we kind of wanted there to, to be an opportunity to say like, I'm actually, I've decided that I'm gonna try and go after this. And it's going to be something that I want to do as part of, you know, my professional life. And um, so give people an opportunity to, that, who, who have made that decision to get together. And so we had an insider track for those folks so that they could talk about the more like sort of serious stuff. Like business side of YouTube and video content creation. Right, right, right. Exactly. Did you expect that there were going to be so many fans? Because some people were saying it's industry, some people saying, you know, it's like the Comic-Con of online video. Well, I, I totally, ex I expected there to be a lot of fans. Uh -huh. um, I, from the beginning, I really wanted, and it's so hard to market to two big, like very different audiences. Yeah. I really wanted to market it to the industry and to the community. Mm -hmm. And I really wanted to push that really hard because I don't think that, I don't think that the industry without the community, I mean, it certainly wouldn't exist. Totally, yeah. And also, I, th I think that, you know, we owe them so much, and it's so much more fun, and the best business gets done when you're having fun anyway. Yeah, so what's been the most exciting thing for you here, looking back, even though we're kind of almost done the two days? I mean, I, well, the people with the machetes and I, Justine, that was pretty good. But the most exciting thing for me was the concert last night where all my friends, and, and we've known each other for a long time playing music together, but not really getting to hang out together a lot, were able to you know, play you know, all of like six sets in a row of just people who I really like and who are my friends and who I just love their music and a crowd screaming and jumping up and down and dancing. And that was for me like 
you know, I, in, during the moments where I didn't, wasn't like, like jumping up and down with excitement, I kind of wanted to cry because it was just so awesome for me. Well, yeah, because we're so used to seeing it in a box and to see it in real life as a show is completely different. And it's not just the co like watching the content in the box, it's having the relationship in the mm -hmm. box. And online video is really, it, it, you know, the, having the personal connection is really important to, to online video. And you bring that personal connection out of the box. And, you know, it's, it's real, it's authentic when you're doing it, but, but it's more real. And it's bigger when you're doing it in, in the real world. So what's the next step with all of this? Are, is there going to be another conference? You know, you're crazy asking me to think about next year. No, I'm not, and I'm not going to make year. you put it out there right now no, yet. I, mean, I, really, I, I think that there's no choice but to have it happen again. Um, it's really hard work. Yeah. Uh, and, and I think that hopefully we'll be able to uh, have it so that it's a little bit less work for me and we can share the load a little bit mm -hmm. with, with other people who can help us out. Um, and I, you know, I did everything from sponsor sales to customer service this time around, so I don't want to do it quite that way next time because I haven't slept in a few weeks. It's okay, you seem up and alive. Well, I'm glad you think I seem up and alive. A lot of people keep walking up to me and they're like, man, you look tired. <laughs> And I'm like, oh, I'm good. Like, this is what it's like in real life. Yeah, you yeah, see me yeah. on a video I'm camera. Fine, I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine. In terms of what's next, though, with the state of the industry, because you obviously have been around to see it evolve. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I got a lot of ideas about what's next. And, and uh, it's everything from, you know, personal content growing off of the Internet onto television. Uh, where you're having more personal relationships, and you're already seeing that with like the Colbert Report and John Stewart, where they're doing things with their communities, like sponsoring the Olympic ski team, uh, and you and, and you're also seeing shows like The Office, where the characters are actually looking at the camera, where it's, it's a more personal thing. I mean, I see that sort of branching, like like kind of crossing over into television, where yeah. where people are more used to that experience. I see online video kind of creeping onto television, becoming more suitable for television, and that means you know more professional content also more sort of formatted content. But I also see what we think of as online video continuing to grow in, in the ways where communities are getting together and doing cool things together and having fun and it being all all online. And um, as a last point, I also, I also see you know, a lot of niches exploding. Mm -hmm. Like every, you know, every group of 10,000 people who has something in common, they can have an online video leader of sorts that can you know, kind of almost you know, make their whole living making niche content on YouTube and, and online video. A lot of great stuff to look forward to. I am very excited, and I mean, I think it's obvious to everyone here, yeah. and uh, and a lot of people in the entertainment industry that this is the very beginning of online video, and it's the very beginning of a big, big shift in the way that people get entertained yeah. and the way that uh, creators create. All right. Well, thank you for bringing this all together for bringing me here, yeah. bringing us here to create this. Yeah. Thank you, and thanks uh, to all of you for watching. Well, thank you for coming. Oh, thank you so we much. Need a <laughs> thank you. Oh, good positivity. Good positivity, I feel good. I feel good too. I feel good. <laughs>